What's going on, my lovely people? I'm SystemCheck66. Welcome to another episode in my uh, short Let's Play series, Retro Replay. And this is one of my favourite fighting games ever made. Um, bit of a Metal Gear Solid 3 thing with this game. When I first played it, a bit disappointed by it. Um, as the years have gone on, you know, I've played through it again and again and again, and I've found sort of things to love about it every time, you know. I've gone through the game again. Um, Tekken 5 was vastly superior. My favourite Tekkens are Tekken 2 and Tekken 5, both on the same level. Uh, but I love Tekken, uh, Tekken 7. Didn't, didn't get into Tekken 6. My mate got it. He didn't really like it. I played bits of it. Didn't really like it. Um, but yeah, Tekken 4 was... A I don't know, it was sort of like the stepchild of the series. Um, it dialed things back, it was a bit... I want to say, it wasn't slower, but it... Yeah, it... There was a lot of different things it added into the mix. Um, should we... Uh, story... Story battle? We could do story battle. We'll do a story battle. Who should we be? I'll be... Who are Yeah, so it introduced sort of these these um, box-like stages where you could grab someone and put them into the corner and completely beat their ass. Stuff like that was very different. Um, they changed Jin's fighting style from the Kazama fighting style to... Well, it was the Mishima fighting style, wasn't it? Yeah. They changed that. Well, he changed that, and he took on like this German karate style. So the main character of the series at that point was Jin, and they sort of changed him. Um, it had a, an amazing story. It was the first game to have a proper story throughout, as you can see. I've done a review on this game. One of my First reviews to uh, to hit over a thousand. Yeah, absolutely love Tekken Four. Oh, all right, Paul. Lucky. <laughs> Get out of my way. Um. To die. Final round. Fight. It's all about getting that right. Ah, I missed it. You win. I love that that he sits on him. Yeah, Tekken 5 though came along and, and really perfected what Tekken 4 had done, but this game's style and everything, the art style, the music, the soundtrack, the new characters it introduced, other than combat. We had like destructible scenery there, which was wicked, the first for Tekken. Like in contrast, Tekken Tag, even though I love that game, and it was one of the PS2's first like early release games. Was very it wasn't lazy because it was the normal Tekken template. But um Yeah, it, it didn't do anything genre defining like the, the first game and the second game did. And even three to an extent, which just perfected what the first and second had done. Um it was just a bit of a it was an updated port of uh, an arcade game basically it was Tekken Tag was originally an arcade game that had Tekken 3 graphics um, but when Tekken Tag came out for the PS2 they you know they um, updated the graphics
Some people might say, why are you playing as, as Hurang? I love Hurang. It's my guy, that's my character. Um, but you know, I'll play as like, Lei Wulong. I'm good as Paul. Take all his life. Oh, I thought it was going to take all his life. Kazuya. See, people think Hurang's like a cheap character because he's like, they say, oh, he's so easy to do and... Yeah, his moves are easy to pull off. To be honest, most characters, when you get... Because you busted me. But yeah, it's all about juggling people. That's why I like him. You kick him in the air, then you do like three three kicks, attack him, let him fall down, you know what I mean? Try and keep him in the air. Damn, because he was really messing my day up. And like, he also has different stances as well, so you can trick people, like people can be coming at you, you can change the stance and do like a, a roundhouse kick, you know, miss them. I need to sidestep more, I just realised that. I'm not sidestepping as much as I could could be. Uh, Tekken 5, you sidestep in that game, you can become unbeatable. Tekken 7, or oh, Tekken 7's like, it's like Tekken on fucking steroids. How fast it is, how fluid. There we go, see? Like that. That's what I was talking about. Oh, don't let. Oh, that... Trying to sort of. Yeah. Nope. Damn, the blocking's put me off. He's gonna fuck me up. Yep. Ooh, just rubbing it in. It's alright, King. Let me get my revenge. Uh, I'll definitely be doing a, a playthrough of this game. There we go. Let's go. King's a hard character for me because he's about throws and stuff, right? Right, see? Boom, I missed that one. Then you can kind of switch it up with a punch. People don't expect it. I always love switching up with punches with Horang. Oh no, the nappy. Please. Yeah, in my review, I was actually like, and then we face a Hachi, and uh, he's wearing a, what can only be described as a man diaper? <laughs> see, that's not something you want to see. I don't want to see Hachi's old ass. His wrinkly old ass, like walking into the, the octagon. He's already on me, look. Look at that. Oh, he's got me this round. He definitely got me this round. Look at how on me he is right now. Yes. Shit. 
It wasn't fast enough. Hesitating too much. gonna block that shit. Oof. Damn it, man. Fucking hell, come on. What's wrong with me today? It's late. It. That's what I wanted to do. To just block every single one of my moves. See, when you start punching them, fuck sake. This is gonna suck. He's gonna beat me. Knew it. He's so much harder than Jim Parchi. That's what's mad about it. Like, I've got so good at, at Tekken 5, I can beat Jim Parchi, no problems. You know what it's going to be if I can't beat him? Just get Kuma. Just get Kuma. Not Akuma. He, uh, he appears in Tekken 7. Oh, come on. Yes, don't know how I did that, but I did it. Let's watch it replay. So lucky, man. But that's what I'm saying, see how mechanically sound this game is like? He went low, I dodged that by doing the move, popped over his, his sweep, kicked him in the face. We'll watch the ending. He's got to have a face off with a uh, with um Jin. I love Tekken 5's ending with Jin and, and uh, Horang. So, what do you want? I never got to fight you at the tournament. I'll take you on right here, right now. There's no reason to fight. You ain't got one. Well, I do. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> Ah, oh, I forgot you got to fight Jin. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Final. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yep, just fucked up style. Oh, come here. I was lucky there. Do you know what I should have done? I didn't do it. Um, his... Ah, his... Uh, mid-air kicks. His mid-air mid combo where he like kicks them in the air and he can just juggle them. Sergeant! Desertion is an offence punishable by court-martial. Give yourself up, soldier! Boy. <laughs> Love this bit. Spins him in the air. Kazama, remember, I kicked your ass back there. Hey, you listening? I'll give you a chance to even the score at the next tournament. You better show up. 
Um, my favourite Tekken character to date is Raven. Don't know why they changed him to Master Raven in 7. Uh, she's alright. I'm more of a fan of Raven. That's my favourite char character to date. But, um, I like Harang. Uh, Law's Call. Cool. I mean, all the all the, the ones you'd think. I did get good as Jin in Tekken 4. Um, my mate's a lot better with him though than me. Just trying to think. Uh, Brian Fury's really cool. Like him as a character. Got good at his counters actually. So, yeah, Yoshimitsu's alright. Like, I'm. If I wanted to, I mean, could do team battle quickly. Yeah. Say so eight. Paul Phoenix, Bron, Law, Brian Fury, and Steve Fox. Got good as Steve Fox at one point, but I like her own. That's the thing. It's got nothing to do with always oh, just circle and X and you mash it. No, there's more to him than that. Trying to get it's a move I was trying to do. Kick him off though. That's the one. There we go. Just getting used to Paul again. It's a bit different in this. Bit slower, bit clunkier. It's always been a bit of a slow, clunky character. Try to remember the combos. Final round. Fight. Oh. There we go. Shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Let's get rid of Paul. Who's next? Who have I got next? Jin, alright. Come on. Jin's just a straight, his fighting style on this one is just weird. But it works. Final round. Final I know what Lee's gonna do. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop him. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. There we go. We're getting into it now. What are you doing, Jin? That's what I want. You win. <sighs> Trying to do that to block him. Julia. Final round. Fight. Ooh. 
bitch. You better fucking stop. Ah, she's gonna beat me. Yes, we've got Lei Wulong. Unchanged. Kind of. We all know what move I'm going to do. She's probably going to suss it out though. I might just... Oh, I should have just done it. She's beating my fucking ass. Hell no. I got to go. I had to. She's beating my ass. You win. Come on. Final round. Fight. <laughs> <sighs> Characters are a lot harder. I mean, I could just win it all with her own. That's the one. Definitely way more clunkier, hundred percent. It's more tactical this game. What is going on in these stairs? Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. Good. I'm glad I didn't want to continue as far. I only want to try everybody out. Lee or Violet. I'm pressing back and it's not actually blocking. I think Horan's gonna beat me. Final round. Fight. I'm so m much more used to um to uh 
how yes how Tekken 7 plays how fast it is how everybody's movesets are a little bit more um, just easier to wow oh yeah not bad I think that's where, where we're going to end it definitely had to give 25 minutes of a let's play to this game uh, I love Tekken 4 it's much more of a um, I, I don't know how to say it but it's much more of a uh, a it's much more of a tactical type fighting game that's the word I'm looking for um, you know it's all about spacing knowing when to sidestep knowing when to count and when to throw it just it, it dialed it all back and it, it re rebooted the series this was like a reboot for the series but five came along and it just like I don't know it just fine-tuned it perfected it and seven is like like all the characters move sets of stuff like the combos it's got like a wider range of combos and stuff but it's just it's such a, a tighter experience and I, I playing this still a great game uh, and the older Tekkens but they feel slower definitely like Tekken 7's different feeling but in a good way uh, but yeah I love Tekken 4 really do it was a great like kickstart great reboot uh, of the series while continuing you know on from Tekken 3 yeah really really good so hope you enjoyed this episode um if you did leave me a like uh, follow me on twitter at systemcheck66 and until next time i'm going to catch you again very very soon take it easy peace